If you want to just talk first about how the club got started and and why. Um, I started the club because we wanted, I wanted to try and unify people for through facial hair. Uh, I was experimenting myself with mustaches and sideburns. I just thought it would be kind of fun because I see other people that looked pretty proud of their facial hair too. I thought it might be a good way to bring people together through different stuff. Um, do some of you uh, want to talk about how you got involved? Yeah, I was um, filling out my scooter with gas at you know, a gas station in Fresno. And right as I'm about to take off, this guy stops me. He's like, hey, 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 wait a second, do you have a minute? And starts telling me about the club. <laughs> and I had a handlebar mustache at the time, and he had a handlebar mustache. Um, and Aaron got me to come to the club. And I've had facial hair since I was like you know, 16, <laughs> so it was a natural for me, but um, yeah, just stopping me at a gas station or uh, guilty. <laughs> well, there's like a mutual like recognition, like, oh, you see that guy with that mustache over there? Like anybody I think I would be with, I would point it out, and I'm pretty sure other people would probably do the same. For the ladies, what what is your involvement in the club? I think our job is mostly support to support them and what they bring. Mm -hmm. and Good. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. cheerleaders. Yeah. I would say that the ladies are not only are they kind of cheerleaders, or at least supporters of us, but you know, they they can encourage other people to have facial hair as well. You know, if they see somebody that maybe they think that we think would be a good addition to the club, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, because you know, in any kind of relationship like that. Like, if they really didn't like it, they would probably have a shaving. Right, you know? and they probably so wouldn't be in a club yeah. encouraging you to grow it longer. <laughs> We've met many guys and their ladies who they kind of uh, hold the, the golden razor to the man's face. If they don't want him to have it, then he can't. And so yeah. it's almost like there's the doorway to, uh, <laughs> for this guy to maybe grow out his, his whiskers. So I'm sure that you guys get the same thing out of that. I yeah. mean, it sounds yeah. like you guys have become friends through the club, right? I look forward to you know, our, our meetings because you know, we're all busy people, but that's like the time that we set aside for those people specifically. And you know, you have yeah. different social circles that you hang out with throughout the month, but like that, that Saturday, that's when I see my, my girls. Yeah. It takes longer to get ready these days. It's all a right. competition. I would say they do. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> well, competition or if they're just styling. Like, yeah. Getting here today, it took like 10 minutes and we were there for an hour, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you want it to look good. It, it takes, takes time. Me as much time as, a, as as an average woman. <laughs> and are you guys okay with that? Because it's well, of course they have to be because you know you're a reflection of them. Yeah. <laughs> it is inconvenient when you only have one bathroom, but you, you work around it. Yeah. Sacrifice to <coughs> be made. Yeah. <laughs> to look this good. <laughs> Do you foresee in the future cutting it off? Do it can be different than you have now? Absolutely. If uh, change is the norm, you know, we want to... I think, if anything, we've expressed that we're riding out this, this beard wave, see how long the beards will grow, what we can get away with at work, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, just the social dynamics. Yeah. Which you are definitely either considered um, uh, looking like Duck Dynasty or ZZ Top. Because yeah. recently I was uh, compared to ZZ Top, which I felt was an honor. <laughs> and, I, and I told her, thank you for not referring to Duck Dynasty. <laughs> well, evidence that there's more than just beards in the club. <laughs> yes, beard and mustache play. So, sure. You're representing for the mustaches. What do you have to say for yourself? He's holding it down. <laughs> mustaches. <laughs> Are there any goatees in the club? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are goatees fashionable? They still are. Well, okay. I, well, are they still prevalent? Are they worn? Yes. <laughs> are they worn well? That's a matter of debate. It depends <laughs> on the personal style. And other. Um, I really think it's it's not as courageous. You know, put a mustache, put a crown on top of that goatee. Look at this. <laughs> if it's just a chin goatee, yeah, it needs something on top. You need to balance it out. Okay. What's your favorite part about the club? I like the camaraderie. The camaraderie. I like. Um, I, um, I do. I like meeting new people in competitions. I like meeting all 
called the um, the new style because you we see all the people in the club and our club, but it's nice to see all the other um, all the other people's styles and and um, so that's really fun. And I like I like hanging out with ladies. I like just that once a month, you know, the club get together. I don't know. The club for me has been pretty eye opening in a lot of different ways. Like people, camaraderie, styles, of course, but. It's a different way of looking at yourself, at least for me. Uh, celebrating something that is natural. And I find a lot of solace in that. Because I think I, like a lot of people, struggle with what to think of themselves or things like that, you know? And to have this outlet that celebrates me for me is really good for me. Mm -hmm. And the people that I've met are second to none. So. It was through the club that, we, that I discovered graffiti. Um, I like that 15 seconds of fame. I like that you get to dress up and wear a costume. Um, I like that the role playing. That's been fun. Also like the comfort I have found in the in the styles in or in just expressing your facial hair because everybody because we all have mustache envy or beard envy you know texture envy. You know, like, ah, I wish my mustache looked good. But you know, it's not going to look like anyone else's. It's going to look like yours. Yeah. Embrace that, and that's what I've learned. I express, grow it, express it. But just the razor down. <laughs> For God's sake, brother, put the razor down. <laughs> <laughs> With our club, you know, I've, I've made some fantastic friends that, you know, we're going to be friends for a long, long, long time. Hopefully the rest of my life, you know. Uh, any last words? Upper nickel? Tom 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 Tom